Well, for more on the impact on insurers, let's bring in Christopher Swift. He is the CEO of The Hartford. Chris, it's, it's great to have you on. I do want to start right there um, because as, as unfortunate as it is, everything that we're seeing play out in Hawaii right now, do you have exposure there? If so, what does the response look like? And if you don't have exposure there, how does it speak to, in general, the fact that we're seeing more extreme weather right now and insurers like yours are, are having to navigate it? Well, thank you for having me on, Morgan. It's good to see you again since the last time we, we visited. You know, for the Hartford, uh, you know, we're a, a diverse business. You know, we have both commercial, personal lines, and, and benefits. Our personal lines business is, you know, the smallest of, of, the, of the three businesses, and we really don't have significant exposure in Hawaii. And as you said, you know, our just hearts and prayers go out to those uh, people that are experiencing just the devastating loss of a property, but not only that, uh, human life. So I think the, the trend that you asked about is, is clear and, and prevalent. Um, there are more frequent and severe storms, particularly convective storms. Wildfire has its own dynamics in certain parts of the country, including California. But, you know, we are experiencing, you know, more you know, severe activity. And first, in fact, the first six months of this year has been one of the, or the second most severe time in, in any of our, our history. And we approach it from an underwriting side, a risk management side, and ultimately trying to help uh, clients uh, mitigate that risk and remain sustainable over a longer period of time. Yeah. And you have a very diversified book of business, to your point. Um, but I am curious about the property book of the business. Are you growing it right now? Um, and how does something like climate change factor in? Yeah, we have historically, my vernacular would be, would be underweight property, mm -hmm. uh, both commercial and homeowners. And it is an area for, for growth for us because I think it's an area of need. And we have the capital and the capacity and the, and the know-how you know, to take on more of that risk. And it's actually, given the, given the magnitude of some of the losses that we've seen over the last five years, prices have risen you know, to the point where I think it's a good time to... Uh, enter the market in a more robust way. And that's part of our strategy to continue to diversify our uh, platform. Um, we did get the CPI reading yesterday. It did show that certain types of insurance rates continue to climb higher. Auto rates, for example, up 17.8% year on year. Um, in, in terms of the rate trajectory and these price increases, are we seeing them, whether it's at the Hartford specifically or across, across the industry, are we seeing them as a means of keeping pace with inflation or for some for another purpose? No, you have it right. It's uh, it's inflationary based, you know, whether it be uh, repair shops, whether it be used car prices, whether it be labor uh, components of of uh, repairing cars. It, it just we're, there's a significant imbalance, you know, coming out of uh, the covid period of time when a lot of people weren't driving. So uh, the industry is responding, you know, to those, uh, you know, pressures, inflationary pressures by ultimately, you know, raising rates. I can anticipate another question of how long is this, you know, going to continue? And a lot of it, you know, obviously depends on how the Fed performs in slowing down the economy and cooling things. But if they're successful over the next, you know, 12 months, I, th I do think the rate environment is still going to be elevated in personal lines, particularly auto, for the next 12 to 18 months. Okay. Um, you have a very robust group benefits business. You also have a very robust commercial business. You insure something like one and a half million small businesses. So basically this very wide-ranging view of the American workplace and to a certain extent the state of the labor market. What are you seeing? Well, your, your, your kind of knowledge, our, our two biggest product lines are workers' compensation and disability insurance that, that both are employment centric, as, as I like to say. And I, I think we, we generally see, you know, health, uh, health and small business uh, formations, uh, optimism and in, in group benefits. Uh, you know, there has been some layoffs that you could see in, in our data, but not, not massive uh, amounts. And in fact, you know, wage you know growth uh, across those employment centric businesses, we would estimate somewhere in the Four and a half to five percent, five and a half percent range. So generally healthy. Uh, obviously, the un overall unemployment is, is low at, at three and a half percent. So 
I think it's, it's still a good time to be an American worker.